do a good job staying quiet, but she does like to, she loves, she loves Zoom. She loves seeing who I'm talking to at all times. Um, uh, our next award uh, uh, is also, uh, the next recipient of our uh, of our next award is also here, and that's for the top outstanding student paper. Uh, and that is uh, awarded this year to Elizabeth Bennett uh, for her paper, Understanding the Role of Prayer and Relationship with God for Christians Before and After the Death of a Child. Um, so congratulations to Elizabeth. And uh, Elizabeth, if you want to take just a quick moment and kind of tell us what your paper is about, and, uh, and yeah, we would love to hear more about it. I would love to, actually. Um, and I just wanted to share this, too, real quick. Um, actually, it's going to be published in the Journal of Communication and Religion. I just found out um, a couple months ago. So I'm Congratulations. Excited. Yeah, thanks. I'm excited about that. Um, so basically, I was able to interview 18 parents who have experienced the death of a child. And I had two research questions. I was just wanting to understand how they would conceptualize a role of prayer before the death of their child versus after. And the same thing with relationship with God. And then I did use grounded theory approach. I used a thematic analysis, um, combed through the data, and then basically looked to see if there were any um, categories that you know merged across participants. And I basically found that a uh, role of prayer pretty much uh, changed from like just regular type prayers, you know, norm basically normal prayers or what James E. Bassler in his relational prayer theory would call active prayer. So praising, thanking God and all those kind of things. And then after the death, um, it was more uh, dependent on God type prayers, um, trying to make sense of the death um, and pretty much being thankful for the days that they have with their child and then relationship with God aspect before the death. They didn't like when I said, how was your relationship with God before? And it was almost like, well, I believed or something like that. And then after um, that, it was again, more dependent on God, felt like they were being carried by him and things of that nature. But what was the most interesting part that I was unable to put in my paper because of page limits and things like that is that, uh, most of the parents talked about having like these moments afterwards where they were really crying out to God for like answers and things like that. And they would have visions, dreams, um, just things like that that I thought was very unique and different. But anyway, I do appreciate the opportunity to receive this and I appreciate y'all's time. So congratulations. Yeah, that's great. Thanks. 